Uh, the concept of real-time data doesn't really exist in K-12 education. A lot of CTOs, unfortunately, are still kind of relegated to the pliers and wires days. Produced by Podcast Architects. We're here at the Texas Association of Latino Superintendents and Administrators Education Innovation Exchange. I'm here with James from Abre, and I've got a question for you. Yes, sir. First of all, I gotta tell you, I love your platform, your technology, and how it's helping districts, but I wanna know, what are we missing? In education, what are we missing with data and how we should utilize it? Mm. Uh, the concept of real-time data doesn't really exist in K-12 education, mainly because data silos that have been created by um, decisions around point solutions. And so thinking about it across the enterprise, we don't face it in the kind of for-profit world that I live in. Uh, everything is stacked, meaning uh, ERP is then stacked underneath a CRM, which is then stacked underneath all of the places that we collect data. And that concept doesn't really exist. So what we're missing is, I think, the role of the CTO at the strategic decisioning level, the budget level, and the, the strategic planning level around not just where technology from a hardware perspective can get rolled out and deployed, but once you roll it out and deploy it, how you can ensure consistency across data collection so that it can all be centralized in one place. A lot of CTOs, unfortunately, are still kind of relegated to the pliers and wires days. Okay. And, uh, and it's still the role of the CAO and some of the other chiefs around the table who are making the procurement decisions around technology. And unfortunately, that's leading to downstream issues with silos. So what, what, in a practical sense, right, in practice, you're at a school district level. For the people that need the data, what is it that solved? Like not having it stack. You're the expert. I'm trying to paraphrase what you said. But yeah. what are we solving by doing that differently or using Aubrey to – to help us with that. Well, what we do is we help declutter the silos to make it more real time to then be able to synthesize data to create new data. What I mean by that is there's a lot of data visualizations that schools and districts use, and it's looking, uh, unfortunately, a bit reactively at data that was collected maybe yesterday or last week, last right. month, last year, in case of star data or exam. We, know, have a lot of of we have a lot of autopsy data. Have a lot of autopsy data, and unfortunately, what that doesn't allow you to do is synthesize in a real time to create new data, ideally proactive or predictive data. You know, where all of this goes is identifying students in real time who are either meeting or not meeting, you know, thresholds or whatever it might be and doing something about it real time before it's too late, whether it's a behavioral challenge, a academic challenge, a non-academic challenge. And so I think what that ultimately leads to is a lot of schools are unfortunately incredibly inefficient when it comes to data. And so back to your initial question, what are we missing? We're missing the opportunities of being far more efficient with how we use and leverage data to drive better outcomes. And Quite honestly, as a former superintendent, regardless of leadership, whether there's change, there's fluctuations in that, doesn't matter, right? It's not even if, if somebody else has a different vision for a different vision for the things that they're using. That's right. Still doesn't matter. Well, I mean, students come and go, families come and go, staff members come and go. What doesn't necessarily come and go, at least every three to five years, is a strategic plan that the community and the board agrees to. And mm -hmm. within that are KPIs and OKRs and all of the different metrics that you look at. And regardless of your tools, your supplementary tools, your core curriculums, your whatever that is generating a lot of your data, ideally what you want is consistency in where that data lives, how that data is synthesized, and then how you roll that data up to make data-driven decisions. I think 90% of the districts that we talk to would all admit they don't know what's working, what's not working to move the needle for kids, and they're incredibly reactive in how they're trying to get there. That's So you said a mouthful. Not only that, but our, our metrics change, right? We get new rating systems, new yeah. uh, cut points. All that stuff is continually in motion. So, wow. Well, first I want to say thank you for sharing and thank you for being a partner with Talos. And we hope to have you back to hear more about how you're serving K-12. Happy to do it. Thank, thank you. you for having me. Produced by Podcast Architects.